Yo, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, Savalas Williams, a.k.a. Will. So check it out. Look, we got the bandit size. We're going to get ready for tomorrow. I just prepped them. We're getting ready for tomorrow morning. Put these out. Uh, during this pandemic, you know, that this uh, uh, shutdown, the stay-at-home order throughout the country, you know, not just here in Cali, but all throughout, um, I just want to tell all my people out there who are working in the medical field, stay encouraged, um, stay safe. And to all my other uh, workers who are doing things uh, unusual to get the job done or things that are a little bit out of the ordinary to get their job done, I want to tell y'all stay encouraged as well. Um, and to every other entrepreneur out there, the grind don't stop, you know what I'm saying? Um, salute, to, salute to my homie uh, Spill. Um, who, who taught me, man, bread is everywhere. Bread is everywhere. You might not be wholesaling real estate. You might be selling cars. You might be uh, uh, selling artwork. You might be uh, an artist in the studio or making beats. Or you might be uh, uh, even collecting recyclables. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and getting that. You know what I mean? Just whatever you do. Mowing lines. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning cars. Uh, washing windows, whatever it is that you do, man, keep doing it in these times or, or find a way to get it done in these times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's difficult and, and we got these certain orders in place right now, but you know, the grind don't stop, man. My, my trunk is full. I got a, a box full of, of signs. I just prepped them other signs back there. And tomorrow morning, man, just be excited. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, go get it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, y'all. Uh, you know, this, this, this too shall pass, you know what I mean? So just think about, you know, whatever it is that you endeavor, that you want to do, that you want to have, that you're trying to get. If, uh, if, if you're not satisfied with it, where, where you at right now, just go learn and educate yourself about whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish or that you want to accomplish and get that education part, um, knocked out. And, and even while you're doing whatever it is you're trying to do, you can start learning about it. You know what I'm saying? And, or you can learn why you do, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's a learning curve with, with any and everything. So just go get it. That's just, you know, my main message right now. Um, I got some signs out right now, you know, on the block. Um, I ain't got no phone calls yet. I've been doing this for like maybe a week and a half now. And uh, I only put out mm, about 16. No, I put out about 20, about 20 signs. I know one of them got taken down at the Walmart. Uh, which was expected because they got the security out there. He'd be roaming. But, you know, uh, I got my strategy. And we're just going to keep working that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and you know, it's, Master P said there's guaranteed success when you never give up. Guaranteed success when you never give up. You know, so a week and a half, no phone calls. Hey, I just seen a post earlier on Max Maxwell's uh, Wholesalers Elite facebook page and the dude said man i've been doing wholesaling for was it a year and he finally got a deal and he made like twenty five hundred dollars and you know and, and for him it wasn't even about the money at that point it was just about he was able to actually help somebody get out of a negative situation you know what i'm saying for for the property that uh was he got under contract and got moved so you know um a lot of times we don't we don't jump into whatever lane um of business and just instantly make you know fifty thousand dollars off the rip you know what i mean but if you never give up and you stay persistent and stay getting in people's faces you know what i mean and i don't mean getting in their faces aggressively i mean getting out there marketing promoting uh different avenues you know what i mean of of, of lead of getting leads to come in to you you know what I mean? Marketing and promoting. That's what I'm talking about. Getting in people's faces. Then, uh, you know, uh, I ordered these these blue signs. Those was, uh, I ordered those actually in February. Y'all probably seen my other video. I ordered these ones. These ones came actually quick. Given the circumstances of the country right now, these ones came actually pretty quick. They came quicker than the other ones. I ordered these ones. I had to, uh, I had to actually uh, call up, well, the people called me. I had to, they emailed me and I called them because um, the image, the imaging didn't go through at first. And so that was maybe like a week ago. 
So this literally took a week to get here. And they both came from Texas. So I don't know if that's a sign of things getting better as far as, uh, or you know what it is? There's no traffic. <laughs> no, no traffic. Uh, that could be one aspect of it for real. But anyway, um, you know, we're we going to put out these signs doing this wholesaling thing. And uh, we're looking to just help people, help as many people as possible. You know, and, and during these times, you know, the uh, the trajectory of things and where, is it, and where it possibly could go, given the circumstances, is humongous for wholesalers right now. Because just imagine how many people need our help. For real, for real. And like we have the knowledge and we have the courage and the motivating factors to actually go out there and help people, you know? And so we just gotta put ourselves out there, you know, be encouraged, y'all be encouraged and be courageous, be courageous. That's, that's my whole thing right now, y'all be courageous with it, you know what I mean? Um, who knows these this other oh this is what I was saying about the signs and me ordering them so I ordered a hundred of the blue ones I put out 20 I put out uh, what I say 20 of them already I'm gonna put out the rest of them another five and then I got a hundred of the other ones and I'm putting out 25 of them so that's gonna give me a total of 50 putting out there and then every week every Sunday every Sunday Monday you know the goal well today's Monday so Tuesdays we go out there and we put out signs you know what I mean 25 at least boom 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 and what I'm saying is I'm gonna order some more signs, um, probably on the first, cause today is what the 30th, so I'm gonna wait like two more days. I'm gonna order some more signs, and guess what, y'all? If I don't get no hits off of those, then I'm gonna switch up my. I'm, I'm gonna keep buying signs, but guess what? It's a, a, it's other ways to to market and promote. That's when I'm gonna look into doing more so of the uh, the, the postcards to the uh, absentee owners. You know, there's so many different ways to get money. And I'm going to take the same money that I was spending on these, on these signs, take that same money, that same $100 to $200, and put that into postcards. And then go from there, you know. And I ain't even actually reached my uh, goal for my budget for uh, promoted signs, for, but for banded signs. My original budget was $500. I only spent two so far. Well, I spent three. Because these signs cost me $200. For this hundred. And these ones cost me a hundred. But, you know, um, you got to do you gotta do what you got to do to, to go where you want to go. You know? So, that's what we're doing right now. My wife said, you better get up early in the morning and go put them signs out. I got my other nephew supposed to be on the way too. So, I'm going to have him out there with us. He better get his butt up. My grown nephew. But anyway, uh, to y'all, man, stay encouraged. Um, go get it. You know, uh, friends, family, neighbors, they might not understand what you're doing. They might not even see the vision. They they might be lacking knowledge or whatever. You can show them my videos. You can show them Max Maxwell videos. You can show them Jay Morrison videos. You can show them uh, Ty the Flip Man videos. You can show them Phil Pustoyaski videos. You can show them 100% financing videos. And they still gonna be like, that don't work. Or why would you do that, you know? But um, you know what you know. And you gotta do what you need to do. So I just got a delivery from UPS. And uh, <laughs> I, you know, uh, my people said I need to spray my box down before I let it in the house. So let's go hit it with the spray. This is most likely my uh, some more banded signs that I ordered. <clears throat> this came from I think Texas. Yep, came from Austin, Texas. So I'm just gonna spray my box. Because according to my people, you know how many stops that box gotta take before it get here? <laughs> so they was nervous. <coughs> Ooh, y'all getting Corona all in my chest from the spray. That's what, eight sides? I sprayed the whole thing. Now I guess it's safe for me to put this box 
and open it. In the matter of fact, I'm gonna open it right now, y'all. Let me see. I got my keys. Let's see. My bandit signs. For my wholesaling. Here we go. <clears throat> there it is. We buy houses any condition. Call or text. 209. 244-2841. Boop. The hustle and the grind don't stop, even in the midst of the coronavirus. You understand me? So I wanted to do this real quick. I'm going to show you all the process of me putting together these, uh, prepping my bandit signs to put them out for tomorrow. Uh, during this pandemic, I got my zip ties. I just basically cut holes in them and go from there. So, I'm going to actually, uh, this is going to go on silent. I'm just going to show y'all. And because my baby's watching TV, I'm going to let her keep watching her show. And I'm just going to uh, put this on mute. So, you guys will just see the process. Um, so, yeah. Let me turn this back on so I don't get hit with the copyright. But, uh, anyway. I was excited about getting these. These came in today. Y'all going to probably see the video of me spraying down the boxes and all that. Everything's so crazy now. It wasn't my idea to spray down a box. It was suggested, so that's what I did. Anyway, 